Hello everyone, I'm here with you with another topic on Forex Technical Analysis Tutorial Series. So let's see what topic we have for today. So today we are going to talk about moving averages and when they serve as dynamic support and resistance levels. Okay, let's see what it is. So what we have studied so far that moving averages confirm a trend before we take a position. Though moving averages are a lagging indicator which means that they lag behind the price. In other words, you can say that the price moves first and then the moving averages move. And moving averages confirm our trend analysis before we take a position. So when we do our trend analysis, though these are the steps. For example, on Forest Factory we go and check the news. Number two, we make if the price is making high high or high lows in upward trend and in the same way in the downward trend and then number three if the price is making trend lines or trend channels if these three are there in your trend analysis then the fourth step is you can also confirm your analysis with the moving averages so another way to use moving averages is to use them as dynamic support and resistance levels okay and we call them these dynamic because they are like always changing is these are not the traditional horizontal support and resistance levels because they are changing depending on the recent price action and there are many forex traders out there who look at these moving averages as key support and resistance and these traders will buy when the price dips and test the moving average or sell if the price rises and touches the moving averages so now let's take a look at EMA of 50 at the price chart and see how it serves as dynamic support and resistance level. So you see there is a price chart downward movement and we have a 50 exponential moving average. So you see this blue line is like holding up all the way down and here you see the price comes up and touches this. It, it also goes past but then comes back over here, over here and then also over here and over here so we can say that at this moving average of 50 the price touches and then bounces back so it is serving as a, a resistance level so this is where we can take them as a dynamic support and resistance level in this case it is a resistance level so now we can also look at moving average of 20 50 and 200 how they are aligned so if it's an upward movement then they are aligned below the price so first one will be 20 second one will be 50 and the third one will be 200 and in the same way if it's a downtrend we can say the price is below and on top of that we have first the 20 the second is 50 and the third is 200 so this is when they are aligned we can easily take a position confidently so for example over here these are aligned in this way the first is 20 50 and 200 so this is where they are aligned and it's a downward trend so we can easily take our position as a sale position so let's see another example of exponential moving average of 10 and 20 so you see it's a bit different than the previous chart so the blue line is 10 uh, yellow line is 20 so this is your blue line coming over here right and this is your uh, yellow line of 20 coming over here so you see it's kind of making a zone here when both of these become like intersect each other and then they move parallel to each other downwards and there is this area which we call it a mutual zone or a common zone between two uh, moving averages so this is this also serves as the dynamic resistance level this zone so when the price drops every time it enters the zone so when it enters the zone then it drops it enters the zone it drops it enters the zone it drops and then we see it's a constant downward movement so it's easy for the traders to take help from these moving averages and consider these moving averages as dynamic support and resistance levels and then confirm their trade so you can see from the chart above you see that the price went slightly past the 10 EMA a few pips but proceeded to drop afterwards and there are some traders who use intraday strategies just like this the idea behind this is just like your horizontal support and resistance areas these moving averages should be treated like zones or areas of interest 
So, uh, and more detail about it, combining a couple of moving averages for your analysis, it can give Forex traders a nice little zone, right? As we just saw in the previous chart. But you should also know that they can break, okay? That's that, that's another scenario uh, that they can also break their support and resistance level, just like any other support and resistance level. So let's take another look at the 50 EMA on this currency pair for a 15 minute chart. So you can see it's a it's a exponential moving average of 50 and this is how it's moving first the price is moving downwards and this is how the moving average of 50 is moving down and then it goes upwards so what happens over here it's, it's in the uh, red kind of box from where the price actually breaks this support, uh, resistance level of 50 so it breaks and then it starts moving in an upward direction and when you see it goes in an upward direction it's still bouncing on this moving average of 50 first moving average was above the price now moving average is below the price so this is where it touches once then twice then maybe over here and then third time and then it goes up again and then over here it touches again but it dips down the down a bit from the moving average but then it comes back again and it goes up again so you see this is how it the moving average is working so over here it is working as a very dynamic resistance level over here it breaks this resistance level and goes upward then these resistance level turn into a support level and then over here it goes upward again so it's another scenario where the moving averages you know uh, they shake hands and they convert from resistance to support level as the price moves on so one nice thing about using moving averages is that they are always changing which means that you can just leave it on your chart and don't have to keep looking back in time to spot potential support and resistance level so once you apply the moving averages on your platform on a price chart they will keep moving and whenever you come back and look at it they will be moving with the price or a little bit lagging behind the price so that's about it guys i hope you like the video i will see you next time for now have a good day bye bye